Hey guys, uh, Leo the Wing Lion here, and today, since it is Pride Month, sorry for the camera shaking, um, I'm going to talk about how I came out as gay. Um, it was June of 2015, and I had been struggling with an addiction to gay porn since I was about 11. Um, and I know a lot of people will say, well, you can't have an addiction to porn. I did. Um, an addiction is when you're basically addicted to something to the point where your life is out of control, and mine was. Um, so I had gone through several residential programs at this point, and I knew at this point that I was gay um, and my parents and sister are very Christian they're non-denominational I have moved away from that but that could be another video in and of itself um, I'm not gonna edit like I any edit anyway um, just so it's comes across as real and sincere um, I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this as well, talking about coming out or how they knew they were blank. Um, and I've been wanting to do this for a long time since I believe Odin Wolf did his video about it, um, about how he came out and what it was like. And then I watched Bolt Mutt's video about it today. Um, and it reignited the desire to make my own video about it because it is Pride Month. Not that I'm going to be doing anything for it, but I just thought I'd add to that. Um, so basically, in June, I sat my mom and sister down. My dad was at work, and I told them that I believed I was gay. Well, I knew I was gay, but I wanted to dampen it for them because they knew they wouldn't take it very well and they didn't mom said basically this isn't verbatim this is what I heard her say from my point of view oh no are you sure you're just not in a phase or are you sh is it because of the porn and I feel like the pornography was in the beginning it was curiosity and then I just resonated with the whole theme. Um, and then my sister started crying. My dad came home and I told him. And I can't remember exactly what happened, but it, it I don't think it went very well. And then the next thing, I, and then several other things happened. Some of which were my fault for the pornography addiction the addictive behavior and part of it was I was my parents and I didn't know that I had Asperger's at that point so part of it was that just not knowing what was going on and one thing led to another and I ended up going to another program this time it was out in Utah which was the farthest away I've ever been from my family and well except for Hawaii but this was the farthest I'd ever been sent away. I felt like I was being exiled because I was gay. Um, and they didn't like that. So, I was out in Utah and out there. I had the freedom to really explore how I felt about being gay and just seeing if it really fit and it did um i had i developed my first crush out there he and i still talk we never really dated um it just wasn't in the cards for us and he was the one who introduced me to the, the furry fandom and other things including bad dragon of course um if you're under 18 don't look it up <laughs> Unless you already know about it, then whatever. Um, and 
I've been living as a gay man ever since. I don't go to clubs and other stuff like that. I'm different from other gay guys. I mean, we're all different. But I feel like I'm more safe um, just because I don't do party scenes. I don't do drugs unless they're prescribed by my doctor. <laughs> um, and I don't sleep around that much. I will every once in a while, but I'm just not interested in that. I want an actual relationship. Um, it'd be awesome if my boyfriend was a furry, but if not, he can be furry positive and that's fine. Just someone who doesn't want to change me. Um, and that is <laughs> basically my coming out story. It's not the craziest, but it felt crazy to me. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later.